bạn chấm điểm số từ đầu giờ sẽ kiếm cho tí về trại bạn xong sao cũng một căn cam thì chụp chỉ mỗi đường mai thì viết để sắp đặt đi bạn ở thái đi kiếm biên dịch đây xong rồi đi để giảng khăng để bạn chơi côn mai rồi mình nhé ai miền bay smooth được không rong game robot mình chẳng mui hào thà ninja warrior và thái đi cứ chỉ lên tìm mui hai hai cứ chỉ tìm mui đá để khi nhóm bạn khơi côn mai với bạn châu từ bỏ cuốn bởi trên chỉ mùi đừng phụ cơm hôn ở phụ ẩm rì kàng dịch trao hơn tại bàn chùa lo bởi trên hai bàn đo tí bình chọc và hai bàn đo tí bình chọc hai thằng này đi khi ông bàn mìa nó cắt đo lo đại bàn chùa nhầm xem sáng bọc chùa rùm bọt dùm phía này chỉ mùi đừng khi ông hai chùm đừng chọn đăng thả tá chùm đai bì lùi về lìa dạng ná ổ thì dạng bì lùi bởi mắn tại bàn khom hát phật phân dạng xoa dạng xóa hấp đầm bay một lòng nên chào vô rìa và hai đứa chết xô một bài rõm tư thật chứ một chút cho mùi nên xem sàn bà chúng mình xua xem sắp xa bài chúng mình xua xem sắp xa bài và chúng mình xua xem chúng mình xua xem video được trong youtube để xem bàn một lòng nên chào vô rìa đừng màu hồi để để cái lo mà bộ mặt trang bốn đang cứ thả ô ô cha mình tên ở trong trong xưa chưa thả xem mà ban mà đo số ẩm lấy đi cao thì trang nào đấy trang mà phun bảy sấp à ô trang phun bốn bảy sấp hay mà mà chấm cao thì cao nó cho ở phố đây chẳng môn chơi mà đo làm lấy chẳng ai môn 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 chơi mà nơi 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 mua ở phố đây tại ở phong à mà ở ở tiệm phố mà I was living in the communist for four years in the port also. Okay, but just can't jump from just up a boy and then I would know maybe right. Just up. 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 ว่าส่งจริงจริงคนเด็ดเออเพื่อเอ่อเชื่อพิเศษการพี่จำนวนนั้นเอ่อคนขมายตัวตายเอวันปู่อันนั้นเกี่ยวมีมโหมหาไอ
Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, obstacle, I mean, ninja warrior, I mean, anything. Oh, that's a young kid with a hey, Joe, blind me. There's so many people that take a uh, um, the obstacle, the the hat for a for a young or everybody around here live, they just um, lift weight and do training and different technique. But here, so in uh, Ninja Warrior, it's a different format to do um, training. So I figured this is the best way to actually uh, learn how to do an obstacle. So I, I figured a way to, how to do it. This way I'm actually um, thought of it. So you know what, why don't I build something here in this country which is where I live in Houston and basically taught myself how to do everything, how to build, how to train, and you know, how to set up a frame and structure. And so I built my, well, I was the first actually uh, Asian uh, American to actually build an obstacle gym here in Houston. And um, then American Ninja Warrior, they saw what I'd done and I submitted a video to them. They actually, um, they actually called me to, um, to, to come and compete and invite about 20 of my students also to come compete on uh, American Ninja Warrior um, back in 2013. And I didn't think anything of it at the time, but right now it was, uh, at the time it was it just, you know, doing it for fun. And so, but the next year it, it grew bigger and bigger. And then um, by that time my gym had become very popular and I've gotten better and somehow they have aired my profile on um, two or three season, um, season five, season six, and season seven. They, they basically uh, profiled me for about three years in a row. And, uh, and basically I, I've gotten uh, pretty uh, familiar with, with the sport and uh, helped help train a lot of students in the industry and the ninja community and basically uh, the, the facility um, had, you know, had been success from, from the Ninja Warrior. When you watch the Japanese ninja, that's what inspired you to create a gym to be the same, uh, to, to do the Ninja Warrior with American style, right? Right, yeah, when I was watching it, um, what happened is that they, they um, take competitors from America and wouldn't compete in, in, the, in Japan. America was not successful. And I looked at it and said, God, they're not having anything like this in America. And so I was kind of uh, living here, I was kind of angry because I, I watched all the American fail. And because it, it's not the, the, um, um, the sport that Americans used to. They're so used to football, baseball, you know, basketball and all that stuff. And, and then when they come to the hanging, swinging, they were failing left and right. And then so I kind of say, you know what, I live here. I want to build something to help these guys. And so what I did, um, I built a facility and all my students actually now have, you know, be, uh, have trained under me for so multiple years and it, they become very successful now. And they have a bigger name out there now. And a lot of the ninja that are from Texas, they basically was one point uh, came to my facility and trained for almost, um, I think, two or three years already by that time. And now, 10 years later, um, well, they're in the 11th season now. Some of the biggest name people are out, still out there. And I still, I'm still competitive, but I haven't done that well for the past two seasons anyway. So. But that's just pretty much what the sport had taken us at this point. We're at the 12th season now. So basically you have helped promote many other individuals to become very successful in the Ninja Warrior competition then? Correct, yes. Um, there were, at one point, we, I was the only facility in Texas. So people would travel from different states to come visit us, you know, um, at one point. You know, we have five, at first start, we only have five students. But then all of a sudden, now we have about 50 students. And, and then, you know, more and more keep coming and uh, it just multiply bigger and bigger. So at one point, I was the only facility in Texas. But now there are about at least 5,000 facilities all over the United States now because 
I was the person that put the uh, put the stamp on the map and say, hey, this is a this is gonna grow, and that's just that was my vision, and and that's what I what I've seen, and I've seen it grow now. So, wow. So basically, you the one who started the uh, training camp for the ninja warrior, but then later on, other people just copy uh, copy camp right. basically or copy by by creating another gym, another gym in different state, different city. And then people right. that want to compete, they just go to the gym nearby and train it over yes. there. So they just come exactly. in and look at what you have, what you have, and yes. then go ahead and do it again over there. Exactly. So back to what I was saying. Now, I I was the only person that started this. And they, I'm sure there's, there's a guy named David Campbell. He started uh, training his backyard. That was it. He was the first guy. They call him the grandfather. But I'm I'm the first guy that actually built a gym here in Houston. And then on top of that, basically, I, I kind of help motivate everybody to open up a gym all over the country. And now this this has to be about almost 5,000 facility in the United States now. So um, that that everybody trained um, to, to to try out for Ninja Warrior. Wow. So that, that, that gym is grow a lot. Okay, we're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we're going to continue with the conversation. But, uh, Pikam Viti Som Som Rap Mui Plet Sen Bat. Bat, Som Sa Kom Tlop Mui Bat. But, Khiom Chong Su Tha Gym Nang Bat Ka Pichra Bat Na Pi Pon Nop Ay, 2010, when you started? Um, 2000, I believe it was 2013. Um, oh. I believe because... Uh, but 12, 13, I'm not sure. Uh, what happened is that I, um, doing my, I had an accident. Um, I broke my knee in half. <laughs> I snapped oh. off my knee in half. So, plat, well, well, like, uh, rock climbing, and I fell down the, the rock wall and broke my knee in half. Didn't oh. know what to do. And the doctor say I'll, I'll never walk or, or run again. So, um, and he's, um, he just, I asked the doctor, he just said, put me back in half, I mean, put me back together so um, <laughs> so I can just basically walk. But um, the doctors, I, I didn't listen to the doctor, so I said, just put me back together, I'll, I'll do whatever I can. So because of that, I challenged myself to, to exercise, to, um, to work out, um, to train, to do better, more discipline. So before I broke my knee, I was super athletic. And then... After that, I had to re learn how to rewalk, learn how to you know stand and learn how to climb. So get my string better, and I wasn't able to straighten my knee. My oh, well, basically my knee was straight, but it wasn't bending anymore. And so, but through rehab and exercise, and uh, it led me through opening gym and uh, become you know more disciplined for myself how to train and how that. But really, um. Um, basically, it's my second chance in life to say, you know, hard work and, you know, discipline and keep you healthy. And because of that, I, I decided to open my first gym back in 2012 or 13, one of those. And then because I challenged my body to, to get back in shape. <laughs> wow, that that is amazing. Your knees broke in, in half, split up. Yes. And then the so, put back together. <laughs> Yes, uh, it happened to be, um, everybody know who Yao Ming is, right? Yes. Yeah, the basketball player, the tall yes. Chinese uh, basketball player. His doctor yep. is, is a doctor who, who fixed me up and he attached attach my, everything on, on my kneecap just completely uh, rip off. So Jeez. you take a, a piece of paper and rip off completely. So he wow. opened me That's up and gave me the surgery and, and then, you know, um, and... And basically, uh, um, I, you know, um, get back in shape because, uh, because of that, and and then it lead me to uh, to stay fit, and then to op and then hoping that you know um, I stay fit, and then do some business, and somehow Ninja Boy on TV, and it just challenged me to to open up the gym, and um, and when I was competing, American Ninja Boy didn't know that I was um, somewhat handicapped. Um, because I broke my knee, I didn't want to tell them that hey, if you have injury, they cannot, uh -huh. they, they will not let you compete. So I went ahead, just lied to them, say, hey, I'm okay, I'm normal, 
but really I I was competing uh, with uh, with an injury uh, for life that I haven't uh, that have not had um, learned how to jump or anything like that. But I was able to do very well for the past you know um, eight season actually. I, I competed for for eight season for them. Uh, I, I saw your I saw your one of your video competition. Uh, I think we can we can see it right here right now here. So that that competition that you are joining, uh, the Ninja Warrior, there is the uh, 2015, right? Right. Uh, yes. So 2015, you already handicapped. Yes, uh, I hurt my knee um, almost um, eight eight year before that, and uh, the doctor wow. say I will never run or walk or jump or anything like that again. But I say I have to prove him wrong that um, I can do this, and and I, I did it. <laughs> I complete out through that course. I was the only um, person actually to complete uh, both night at the competition. Um, out of, can uh, you put? I, I think yeah. Put, can you put up the video, KV? So we want to watch. Uh, we want to watch your your video a little bit here. Uh, in two thousand fifteen, you compete in the Ninja Warrior handicap. Your knee split apart eight years before you trained yourself uh, to get back on your foot. And, in shape, and, yes. Uh -huh. and, and in shape and walking and running and climbing and everything else. Wow, this this is amazing. I cannot believe. I thought that uh, that it just you just trained your uh, normal training. I didn't know no, that. No, no, this, this is the right. Yeah. So, okay. So, uh, so you compete the the whole how many the whole episode of the Ninja Warrior, right? And you got and no, you got to go to Vegas. Yes, I've been. I was three time in Las Vegas. Um, cont uh, I'm contestant in Las Vegas. So, in other words, you have to do good. To be selected on uh, to Las Vegas, which is the the final. I see. And that, Did you? Oh, okay, go, go ahead. ahead. Well, I was selected um, three years in a row to go to Mike Midoriyama to compete uh, for the one million dollar, but um, my Vegas run has not been successful <laughs> because of my injury. I see. So you you got into the final three times. Right, but but Correct. but was not a uh, complete successful basically. But you close well, to, you get close to. Um, I somehow because of my injury, it hold me back on the trampoline jump. Um, all my jump has been a bad jump because uh my knee my kneecap, um, uh, my knee injury. Uh, I'm a half a step behind on my jump. I don't know if people understand that, but until you watch me how I run or how I jump, um, because of the injury. I don't have um, what they call an ACL on the back of your leg that make you make you jump or jump higher. I don't have that, so basically, you know, that's where my weakness are. It's in my jump, and so that's uh, stopping me from complete from going further in the competition. I but see. that doesn't stop so, me. <laughs> of course, you got actually you got uh, all uh, close to the finals anyway. You know, that's a that's right. a semi final. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But in the summer, I, I, you, know, it, you have many stages of it, though. Um, there are three stage in the in Las Vegas. Uh, four stage. You got stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. You have to climb the rope, uh, which is the Mount Midoriyama. That is the ultimate I, goal. Yeah, but but I mean, even though the semifinal that you you have finished here. I see here, it, it, it is just so amazing. I mean, I, 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 it looked very, very, very difficult uh, from everything. I mean, holding a, a hand with that monkey bar to move from left to right. It, it is, right. oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> and you need a lot right. of upper strength, upper strength and right. perseverance. Upper strength, right. because, right. Yeah, because yes. sometimes you, you, you have strength, but it's only for a certain time. It doesn't. It, it, it's not long, but you have to right. kind of like have a strength and perseverance to go all the way to to finish your your course because it it it, it need. It look like you need a lot of energy, a lot of energy, upper right. energy there. 
Right, correct. Yes, you must. You have to want it, and you have to put the time and train. And believe it or not, I owned the gym uh, since 2000. Um, you know, I guess uh, 13. And basically, I just trained people, but I, I I barely trained it myself. So eventually, I became um, it was under I was under pressure because during the competition that year there was no no one had completed. So I went ahead do the run and somehow I was very fortunate enough to complete the whole the whole thing but but uh, bes beside one other person uh that night com uh, has completed with me but other than that um I was under pressure and somehow I I was very blessed enough to to complete that course let's that one buzzer <laughs> that counts for everything so when you uh so how how many years does it take you to train to compete uh, in that course right there? Uh, that one, so I, I, year one, I didn't do too well. That's the first year, um, season 13, uh, season uh, four, five, six, seven. It took four years to actually get to that point. Wow, four so years. Actually, but you know, some people learn faster than other, but you know, the sport has changed so much uh, since, the, since we start from the first season. Um, the, the string has gotten harder. Uh, the swing has, to, has gotten longer. Um, the balance has gotten more difficult. Um, basically, the, the sport has changed um, a lot when it comes to the technicality. Um, they add more speed to the course and, you know, with me being a handicap, um, speed is not going to be uh, my thing because the fact that you know uh, if you're injured and you know you have you know um, a little setback. So, but you know, hopefully um, with more training and you know um, you you get better at it. But the point okay. is just to keep training. Yes, of course. You know, every everything everything is based on training. The more you train, the better you're good at it. Uh, we're going to take another quick break and then when we come back we're going to continue uh conversation but uh pick up with some some let's end back but uh so um what uh, what have uh this pandemic affect your business so far is it uh a lot a little bit or i heard that uh texas there has a lot of COVID again and they close all the gym the pub and restaurant and everything does it affect you very much over there yes we have to follow uh, the state and the city regulation according you know what we allowed to open at first you know i mean we had to close down what for about i believe it was uh, a month actually of the business so during that time i actually um tear down my entire gym and then rebuild um, a brand new gym in a, a brand new location. So during that time, so um, for now we we finish half of our gym, and then we open according to the um, the city um, um, uh, court, court coordinate, I guess I would say, how they allow us to open and, and with the social distance and stuff like that. Um, but as far as business go, we try to get as much as we can and without over, you know. Um, um, over, I guess, overload the, um, the spacing, uh, the social distancing. So, you know, hopefully we can get more people in the facility as well. And we're also trying to get um, more kids into the facility with the, um, I guess, online schooling as well, also during this pandemic. So, do you still have a member? Is it a membership, right? You have to kind of like join a membership or you pay per go or you pay per trade or how does it work? We have, yes, we do have membership uh, based. We have, um, you know, we have also have a competition um, team for our kid also who want to be more competitive for American Ninja World Junior, which is another TV show for the little, uh, for kid from nine to 14. I believe, and they compete on Ninja Warrior also. And those kids are like speed demon. They 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 can just jump around the course. They may look they make me look old and slow. <laughs> those kids are fast. They look like uh, Speedy Gonzalez on steroids. Well, that's how kids that. are. 
Yeah, right. They they adapt faster to to the obstacle. They learn faster than than my myself and um the older um generation because the fact that they look at it oh their brain waves are a lot smaller. That's why I, I would love to encourage mom, dad, parent out there, take your kid to a ninja gym. Don't 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 let them play on a video game. Please do not. This video game is just killing them. Kill kill their brain cell if anything. But the the obstacle it challenged the mental and physical strength, and that's more important than anything. And during time like this, your kid must do exercise to fight this coronavirus stuff. And all the kids that come to our facility, they're all healthier, they're more alert. They're, 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 I've never seen a kid that have so much fun, you know, playing in our facility. Basically, I think instead of having the kid playing the actual virtual game, they come to your gym right. to play the real game, the real ninja game, where they have exactly. to actually do the do the physical stuff, and also not that they in not only that they will get fit to themselves, but I believe they also have ment mentally fit and more smarter and much smarter too. Because you know, when you are healthy, you will have a lot of capability to do a lot of different things. But when you are kind of like fat and sick and and slow. So it's lucky. It's kind of like uh, feel like lazy to do all kind of things. Feel like lazy to do homework right. and everything too. I believe, right? Right. We, we, yes. Um, but because of the um, the pandemic, uh, um, you know, that going on right now, we also trying to um, accommodate um, uh, the um, community where we can actually do um, schooling um, online in our facility. So parents can drop off their, their kid in the facility, um, you know, so they can actually um, drop their kid off so they can do all the schoolwork at the facility and also have a, um, you know, a time out to, to play on obstacles. So to me, that's a win-win situation for everybody. So everybody can enjoy, um, you know, their time on the course, um, on the facility and have fun all at the same time. How how big is your space? The size of uh, the our facility, facility is ten thousand square foot. Um, wow. um, but but what really good about it? It is thirty feet high. The the height of the oh. ceiling is thirty. Feet. So I was able. We were able to split the level. Um, one level, one side of the level is um, you know we can build it out to um, second story and then have obstacle down. Um, on below, so we have, you know, it was an old, an older, it's a warehouse where they have a um, big truck uh, back up to it, you know, so we have two cranes to actually raise all the obstacle up for us and stuff like that, so I was kind of excited to have that facility because the fact that I could build things so much easier and just have them lifted up with the crane and stuff like that. And so that's why it's so, you know, so good for us to actually build what we have to build. So, so your facility uh, basically built for Ninja Warrior uh, competition. But if people just want to go in and do exercise, normal exercise, if kids normal go in and do normal exercise, you can do that also, right? Correct. Yes, we also do um, you know normal exercise, calisthenic. You know, you do you know cardio, also string, also you know um, different conditioning and stuff like that. Um, so we we design. Basically, I designed a, a facility so it helped everybody. So, in other words, we have rock wall, we have you know um, uh, the warp wall for Ninja Warrior, we have rope climb, we have you know obstacle you can swing on, um, we have you know the monkey ball for the kid, and we have trampoline, which is what's crazy is like you know the best um, exercise for kids. They love just jumping on a trampoline, and what what we have also is that weight training. We have you know um, you know, kid, kids class that are from age uh, four, five, also, and they can also, you know, anybody that wants to do um, just simple uh, fitness also. And, and that's not just for boys, basically boys, girls, men, women, all combined, right? For uh, it's basically, it's a family, um, you know, um, it's kind of help family, I would say family, fitness more likely you know so parent can actually do it also and kid can do it also 
And so everybody get kind of get together and, and challenge each other on, on a fitness board. Oh, I see. So the family can actually join the membership and get a discount. Exactly. And then when they can drop their kid, instead of drop the kid, the whole family can enjoy or maybe spend right. one or two hours to exercise and then go home. Yeah, that's, right. a, that's, that's, a, that's a really good idea. Right. Well, the, the, at one point when I started building a facility, thinking, oh, yeah, just, you know, just uh, for fitness, stuff like that. But really, uh, what really helped us is the... Um, the kid and the parent that say, okay, do you do a birthday party? I say, why not? We, we'll do birthday party. So we, we booked, you know, six or seven birthday party before the pandemic hit all this, uh, you know, so we, we were super busy. I mean, we couldn't get enough um, time for to book a birthday party because of, it, because of the fact that the kid loved this so much and the parent actually enjoyed ha watching the kid having a good time. And so and that kind of the kid kind of inspired the parent to, to get involved in it also. Oh, that's a that's a good idea. So that the so the, the the children inspire the parent to come in and do exercise, right? <laughs> right, right, right. Yes. It's vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's a good idea, you know. <laughs> ah. So uh, so basically, your location is not just the gym. Basically, it's also. The birthday party for the whole family and they invite friends it's, and family to come over right they have it's like a family entertainment and you know everybody go out there and, and it's great for them to have a good they have a good time without knowing that they're doing physical work and doing all the string training and stuff like that and because it, it's so much fun for them you know um, there's nothing more exciting to see to watch a parent see their kid doing uh the exercise, say, oh my God, look what you, my kid is doing. And when they, they're able to complete an obstacle and there's the, the smile on a, on, a, on a parent's face is priceless. And that to me, uh, I think that's, we're doing the right thing. Well, you know, entertainment for the whole family and uh, plus getting the fitness, that's, that's, you know, you get the best of both worlds. <laughs> that's what they normally right, say, right. you get the best of both worlds. In, in exactly. entertainment. So Exactly. No, but um, yeah. everybody that, that came in, they, they really see the value of, you know, for, for their kids. So if they if their kid's happy, that means um, we're doing the right thing. Okay. Okay, we're going to take another quick break, and when we come back, we're going to continue the conversation with you. But we can't be some support with Fred Sandman. But but um, I think they can uh, go to our website, um, samsan.com, and they can um, go ahead and look, look me up, look us up, and then this way uh, call our number and look at our time and schedule, and, and, and that way they can actually... Um, you know, come in and look at the facility or train or whichever. So there's all type of price purchase they can um, also look into if they're interested in for long-term training. And also, um, I would like to have, you know, a Cambodian community help um, a Cambodian people in Cambodia actually, you know, to help, you know, put together um, some type of um, competition in Cambodia so we can actually sponsor some of our best athletes to come here and train in America, have them com compete on American Ninja Warrior also. That would be um, a good, um, you know, start up for uh, people in our country so they can, you know, actually um, get this involved back in Cambodia. So, so basically your, your goal also want to get uh, uh, Cambodian kid, Rico Gold Kmine, so Kmine, then by our hat, no trade, then by our belong, and then that, and by our mean chmota, uh, Gold Kmine, mean, uh, mean, mean, um, lack of that's a bad group, Kruan, that I don't belong to more than a ninja warrior, then by Jok Chajum, that man, that way, pay the plong, uh, chop, 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 and kill my man, more lean the lie. In the lava. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
ហើយចង់មកកំភីតចង់មកត្រេនៅសុខអាមេរិកនេះគឺគួរតែសហគ្រួនហាត់នៅសុខខ្មែរនឹងធ្វើបីឲ្យខ្លួនជើងមិនចាំហ្នឹងអាហ្វិតសូម៉ាយម៉ាយទេសអាយទេសាញអាមអ៊ុបស្ទីកលអាប់ទូដេតសូអាយមេកស៊ូរដែតអាយផុតនូអា
run because uh, the 2015 run is uh, being uh, run against other people. It's a competition. How do I say? It? It's a voting competition with other um, competitors from different seasons. So I'm the winner of season seven, and I have have to compete with other people um, with with other season. Season four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's about nine people um, have to compete uh, for the greatest buzzer. So I have finished the season seven. So I was hoping everybody can vote uh, me in to uh, to get uh, the winning for the the greatest buzzer of all time. And also, I just want to encourage everybody to actually, um, um, you know. Doesn't matter where you are, um, Cambodia, here, here in Houston or wherever in the United States, if you need a place to, to train or, or contact me through um, Facebook or through uh, Sam San, um, any advice you have, I'd be happy to answer any question. Okay. Okay. If, if anybody in different state or whatever that they want to come and compete at your place, uh, uh, come to train at your place, they can they can contact you through uh, Facebook. You have Instagram. A website, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. a website. A web Facebook. Yes. Instagram. Uh, Sa Sam San. Sam San. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, link on Facebook or YouTube. I will watch now. I Sam, boy, you love them. Uh, uh, compete to more net. Uh, then Java, say, say, did. Uh, how, uh, Trump, the Pomancha season, the Pompale season, the Pomoiti. Uh, born, Pram, Pomoi, Pom, by born, that, 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 Nine. Oh, nine. Uh, yeah. So yeah, just, have, of... just have, please vote. And and then the way to vote is just to go into the link that we're going to put up on Facebook or on YouTube. Uh, just click on there. And I I don't remember what information that you had to enter, but when you click in there, you just follow instruction and help vote for Kong Khmer Yeng that Muay that Ban compete the Nukhnong Ninja Warrior Competition High Dal Semi Final, but. ពួកអីយើងយើងត្រូវតែចេះជួយគ្នាពួកអីយើងបើយើងមិនជួយគ្នាយើងជួយអ្នកណាទៀតបើមិនដើមមានអ្នកណាទៀតដែលបានឡើ
បាទចឹងបាទដល់ហើយម្ដងទៀតខ្ញុំសូមពីនាងដល់បងប្អូនខ្មែរយើង they have to go to American Ninja Warrior Nation, ANW Nation, um, dot com, and then uh, look, click on that link. You have to scroll down for the greatest uh, buzzer, and then um, you have, they have to vote Sam Sand on it. Oh, greatest buzzer. Yeah. Okay, uh, Sam, thank you very much for your time uh, joining us today. ទូរទស្សនិកជនទាំងអស់ដែលបានតាមដានទស្សនាខ្មែរ